Hi everyone, I can't believe I'm going to have to change plans and make another trailer review for a creationist propaganda film. Man oh man, just when you thought God's Not Dead wasn't enough. Science supports his existence, you know the truth. So why do you hate him? It's a very simple question. Why do you hate God? So this is a review for the trailer of A Matter of Faith, which is supposed to be released in September of this year. Seriously, what is up with all the Christian films being released as of recently? Now, because this is only a trailer, I'm not putting this video in my Jesus Lance series because I need to see the entire film before coming to a conclusion, which is what I'm doing when I'm done with my review of the movie God's Not Dead. In this quick video, I hope to provide constructive commentary while watching the trailer, with a little bit of humor here and there. So let's begin. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to answer the age-old question. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? So I'm already seven seconds in and I could smell a straw man from here. Well, to be fair, plenty of philosophers have raised this dilemma about the origin of life, and evolution by natural selection is the best explanation for the diversity of life, not the origin. And there is a mountain of evidence from the peer-reviewed literature to support this. However, to answer your question, the best answer is that the egg did it. I'll refer you to an ASAP science video shown here, which gives a great illustration for this answer. But to summarize some of the points made in the video, because mutations have influence on speciation, in order to get to that chicken egg, you would need a proto-chicken to mate with another proto-chicken and produce an egg with a mutation to get to the chicken, which came from the egg. Hence, the video's conclusion, the egg came first. Nevertheless, in all honesty, I don't recall a biology or even a science teacher raising this question. Not even in high school. Perhaps it would be best for a philosophy class, given it's a causality dilemma, but I predict that the answer within the movie when it comes out is going to be dishonest, as with the rest of the film. Biology? Did you get Cayman? Complex life forms evolved from simple. And that would be a simplified version of explaining evolution, albeit you could have used a better definition that scientists would use. Here's a good definition from the National Center for Science Education. In the biological sciences, evolution is a scientific theory that explains the emergence of new varieties of living things in the past and in the present. It is not a theory of origins about how life began. Now. That's just one explanation, but this, of course, is a small tidbit I had, but let's move on. Hey, what did you think about what Professor Cayman was just saying? Just calling to get your topic for the October debate. Let me guess, the debate topic will be, is creation a valuable model of origins in today's modern scientific era? I really like all of my instructors, especially my biology teacher, Professor Cayman. He's a riot. Yes, people, biology as a subject is bad. Human biology, cell biology, microbiology, and so on. It's scary! Hence the thud at the end of that clip, which is in the trailer. And just when you think this trailer isn't going to be a riot, here comes the defining quote of the movie. The guy's an evolutionist. <laughs> Don't you mean evolutionist? The guy's an evolutionist. And I'm an atomist, a gravityist, and a germist because we need to teach alternative theories to the atom theory, the theory of gravity, and germ theory. The guy's an evolutionist. And there's nothing in the whole course description about biblical creation as even a plausible alternative. Newsflash! Are you aware of previous court cases on teaching creationism in the classroom? Teaching creationism to try to balance things out violates the Establishment Clause of the U.S. Constitution. I'll refer you to the 1982 court decision McLean versus Arkansas Board of Education. You can probably teach Genesis in a theology class, but not in a biology class. All our public schools and universities teach evolution as the answer to the origins of life. And we have a dishonest misrepresentation here. Evolution is not about the origin of life. That's abiogenesis, which is still being worked on. Evolution refers to the diversity of life. I hate having to repeat myself. Don't you think Professor Kamen has some good concepts? He could be right. Well, if he wasn't a straw biology professor, then given he would be teaching people about modern biology, yes, he would be in the right. But of course, as I predict, the filmmakers are going to try their best to pull every straw man argument they could find and insert it into the biology teacher's dialogue. Have you ever seen that thing that Cayman does where he shows how we all came from apes? 
Funny thing, we're still considered great apes, along with chimpanzees, gorillas, and orangutans. You see, these creationists are still coming out and saying, If evolution is true and we evolved from apes, the wild there's still apes. We share a common ancestor. And that ancestor, 5 to 11 million years ago, according to what we know, taking place in Africa, gave rise to different lineages. Life comes from life. It doesn't come from non-life. Boy, this whole trailer is filled with straw man arguments. If this was an actual school you were being taught at and not the dishonest depiction that's being displayed here, sir, I would say you clearly haven't been paying attention in school. Evolution versus creationism, what do you say? Professor came and my dad can't debate you. Oh no, just as I expected, why do these movies have to have these skewed debates on screen? Further, the trailer never explains what the dad's profession is, so why debate him? Is he a theology teacher? Is he a theologian? Is he a pastor? What's his profession? I wasn't gonna teach evolutionary lies from those textbooks. I'm out of the game. I'm getting too old for this evolutionist shit. You debating Professor Kamen is not gonna solve anything. This guy stands against everything that we believe in. Well, facts actually stand against religious dogma that gets pushed into the science classroom. So what's the problem with teaching your kids about the reality of how we came to be, as opposed to, say, homeschooling your children and hiding knowledge from them? I don't have kids and I don't want or need kids, but if I were a parent, I would be doing a great disservice if I fed them lies about science. And that's exactly what this dad is doing here. Welcome everyone to our debate tonight. Wasn't the Bible written by man? Did I forget to take acting classes? Okay, okay, this is clearly the filmmakers now trying to make the biology teacher the evil evolutionist teacher. So much for that very pleasant impression at the beginning of this trailer, despite him obviously being a walking straw man for the film. Wasn't the Bible written by man? Yes it was. Then how does that make it the word of God? Okay, I'll grant you, that is a fair point. How do we know this book is the word of God and not by man? And you do believe in your viewpoint. Don't you? Blindly, very blindly following creationist dogma. Alright, to summarize, of course I would have to see the entire film before coming to a conclusion, but from what I've seen in this trailer, it's nothing but a whole pile of lies. Nothing but the usual creationist assertions and lies without any regard for decency. Of course, giving this film any attention will only drive more people to actually see it, which is probably why one of the reasons for God's Not Dead success is all of the backlash and criticism it received. So that's a bit of a problem. For me, yeah, defeating creationist dishonesty and promoting science education is not a matter of faith, but it's a matter of helping our younger generations from outright lies and victims who hate it when their dogma is illegal to teach in the science classroom because not only is creation not a great explanation for life, but it's... Everybody say it with me. RELIGION! You're bringing religion into the classroom. A matter of faith? More like a matter of dishonesty. Hello, I'm the Fantastic Skeptic, and I run the Education is Cool YouTube channel. I make videos on science, religion, atheism, politics, philosophy, and other hot topics. If you enjoyed this video and my other content, please rate this video, favorite it if you like, Share it on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and any other social media sites. And if you like what I do on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel to watch more videos. Thank you all very much for watching.